flame workers use flames as a tool every day, and yet few of us completely understand exactly what a flame is. In this video, I will explain what a flame is and briefly explore its anatomy and chemistry. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy the contents of this video. A flame is quite simply the region where a vigorous chemical reaction is taking place. Fuel is combining with oxygen in an exothermic reaction, releasing light and heat energy. We see the light and we feel the heat. Flames are generally a linear reaction, that is, it progresses in a single direction, usually up, because heat rises. The chemical composition of the flame changes over distance, which creates zones with different characteristics within the flame. Understanding this basic structure is important for those of us who use a flame every day as a fundamental tool in our work. Other flames that are generated in more complex ways than a candle still have this basic structure. Bunsen burners channel air through metal tubes to increase the delivery of oxygen, which accelerates combustion and increases the temperature of a flame. Oxygen gas torches increase it even more by injecting the flame with pure oxygen but the overall structure is basically the same. Perhaps we should begin with the simplest flame, a candle. We can divide the candle flame into several distinct zones. First is the inner zone. Here, unburnt fuel meets oxygen and ignites. It takes a little time to build up enough heat to radiate so the region closest to the wick does not glow. This is the coolest part of the flame. Next is the middle zone. Here, combustion accelerates and the region glows brightly. But not all of the fuel is consumed yet, so this region is still cooler than further out in the flame. Finally, there is the outer part of the flame. This is where combustion is total, and so it is the hottest part of the flame. At the end of the flame, fuel runs out and the flame ends, but not necessarily where we see it end. We cannot see infrared light and flames still glow brightly in infrared beyond where we see it end. Bunsen burners inject air and channel it through tubes where it mixes with the gas and is expelled through the tip at an increased velocity. The additional air and speed combine to produce a much hotter flame than a static candle flame, but the overall structure is still the same, hottest in the middle above the visible candles. Yes, the brightly glowing cones near the burner tip are appropriately called candles. Oxygen and gas burners operate in the same way, but instead of air, pure oxygen is mixed with the gas, either internally or externally. This greatly accelerates both the rate and temperature of combustion. A typical oxypropane flame combusts at a temperature of around 4200 degrees Fahrenheit, almost triple the temperature of a Bunsen flame. The structure is the same, but the high rate of combustion compresses the zones against the torch tip, making the first zones relatively narrow, while the velocity of the compressed gases stretches the flame out into a long, narrow shape. Every flame worker knows where the hottest part of the flame is. Now you know why. Flame velocity is a vital element to understand. It works sort of like wind chill in reverse. Greater flame velocity increases the heat transfer rate from the flame into the glass. This is sometimes called flame aggression. More aggressive flames heat the glass more quickly. This may or may not be desirable in specific circumstances. There are often situations where less velocity is desirable, and so it is useful to know the dynamics of your flame so you know how to mix your flame and where to place your glass to get what you want. The final element of the flame I want to discuss today is what is called the atmosphere of the flame. Simply put, this refers to the amount of uncombusted gas or oxygen in any part of the flame. Uncombusted gas can act as a reducing agent and uncombusted oxygen can act as an oxidizing agent, which can have a significant impact on the hot glass. We'll get much more into oxidation and reduction in a future video, but for now, Let's just define what we mean by those terms. If there is a lot of uncombusted gas in the flame, as is the case close to the torch face, we refer to that as a reducing atmosphere. 
if there's an abundance of uncombusted oxygen, as is the case in the outer zone of the flame, we refer to that as an oxidizing atmosphere. If there is a balance between the two gases, we refer to that as a neutral atmosphere. I hope this short video has helped you to understand this complex and dynamic tool we use every day. Please leave comments below and as always, like and subscribe. We'll have much more on this subject in later videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to learn.